Okay, so one of the things that I hear over and over from patients who reach out to my clinic that have SIBO or have candida is why did my SIBO come back or why did my yeast infection return? So in today's video, I wanna review some of the reasons biofilm disruptors are so important in the treatment of small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or in the case of small intestinal fungal overgrowth or yeast infections. Now, if you can relate to making some improvement, but then after a few weeks or a few months, you felt like your symptoms and like all of your, your problems came back and you're back to square one, this video is for you. Well, hey there, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer and I'm glad you found this channel. Every day I get to work with new patients who struggle with chronic gut infections and help be a part of finding solutions for them. And I hope today's video, as well as some of the other videos that you'll see on this channel and on my website, health articles, um, that they are, in a small way, something that helps you move your health needle in the right direction. So today, I wanna to give you some reasons why, if you're not using a biofilm disruptor, why I think you really should as part of your treatment. Now, reason number one is they make antibiotic, antifungal, antimicrobials work better. Now, 80% of bacteria in our gut are capable of producing biofilms, which are complex matrices, community, communities, where these bacteria are encased in this protective matrix. And this matrix, matrix can make it really hard for antibiotics and antimicrobials, antimicrobials and even our own immune system to be able to get in and actually kill them. So using a biofilm disruptor can help break down this protective layer, allowing those antimicrobials really to do their job and really knock down those populations. So number two is just better treatment options, right? This kind of goes in line with what I said for reason number one to use biofilms, but by disrupting biofilms, the overall bacterial load in the intestines can obviously be reduced. And this can lead to more thorough eradication of these overgrown bacteria and yeast and ultimately a more successful treatment outcome. All right, so reason number three why I think you should use biofilms is the prevention or the reoccurrence. Now I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but many patients are frustrated with the reoccurrence of, of this bacterial overgrowth, right? And it's estimated that 60 to 75% of people who have SIBO and receive treatment are back to being reinfected within three to six months. And so that's not very good. And again, one of the reasons I believe has to do with the fact that biofilm disruptors was not implemented. Now, if you're someone who has SIBO or CFO and it just keeps coming back, I want you to watch two videos that I did. Why most SIBO treatments fail part one and why most SIBO treatments fail part two. These two videos review some of the most common problems and overlooked reasons for SIBO's return. These videos, I believe, are the reasons I have such a high success rate in helping patients overcome them. So do yourself a favor and watch those. So the other thing here when it comes to biofilms is you have to remember that biofilms, by their very nature, they are designed to protect these bacterial communities from being fully eliminated. Unfortunately, when you kill bacteria or you kill yeast, what happens is they leave behind something known as persister cells. And it's these persister cells that ultimately lead to the ongoing symptoms that people have, but the reformation of these biofilms and the reformation of these communities. So you, again, that's why you wanna be using them. Now, number four is enhanced immune system response. Now, another reason I recommend biofilm disruptors comes down to the immune system's response, right? For some of my patients that, that they've been dealing with SIBO or CFO for a very, very long time, they are immunocompromised. Now for these people, the immune system often has difficulty being able to target and eradicate these yeasts and this bacteria. So if you are someone who has a compromised immune system, these biofilm disruptors are going to be that much more important because taking a biofilm disruptor alongside these antimicrobials or antifungals um, can enhance your immune system's response. So if you are someone who knows that they have a compromised immune system, these biofilm disruptors are that important. Taking biofilm disruptors alongside the antimicrobials and the antifungals can help enhance the immune system's response. Now having a compromised immune response indicated by having low levels of secretory IgA is another reason for the poor treatment outcomes in people who have SIBO and CFO. Some biofilm disruptors can enhance the immune system, which really ultimately complements the antimicrobial or the antifungal uh, actions of that medicine or those natural herbs. Number five, the last reason I think you should use biofilm disruptors really just comes down to symptoms, 
right? You're going to feel a lot better, a lot faster when you implement them. Again, for many people with the symptoms of SIBO, whether it be diarrhea, constipation, bloating, or abdominal pain, some patients, this can be unbearable. And so taking a biofilm disruptor can just help you feel better faster. All right, so there you go. Those are just a few reasons why I think if you continue to have these reoccurring infections with SIBO or CIFO, it's fungal overgrowth, why, if you haven't started using these biofilm disruptors, why I think you should start trying to implement them. And if you like today's video, here's another video on some of the biofilm disruptors that I use with my patients. Until next time, take care.